What's up dispatchers, JJ Moore is coming to you from Blackie Thomas's fall gathering. And yesterday we got in a discussion about the best way to attach a line to a tree. And there seems to be a war going online right now between survival instructors. And we wanna know what you think is the best way to tie to a tree. So let's start with Blackie Thomas and see how he does it. All right, now Blackie, show us what you've got before you actually wrap it around the trees so we can see you know, what is the size of your package before we go. Okay, this is a 25 foot section of 550 paracord right here. Just got a loop on one end, toggle on the other, but we're not gonna be using the toggle. We're just gonna be using the cord. So something this small can be utilized for this. And you just throw that into your pocket, right? Goes into the pocket. Attaching to a tree, I want something that I can anchor into solidly and yet be able to pull free even if we have a storm and the trees start rocking. So I like a timber hitch. All you do is you go around the tree, go over the top, give yourself a pretty good lead, come out here and make three loops. One, two, three, and then stick your thumb in it. Now, pull it around behind the tree and pull your slack out. Okay, just like that. Pull it down tight. When you do that, it is 100% locked on there. It's gonna grip. But to get it off, all I gotta do is grab that loop and pull, and it falls off the tree. Bam, Super son. easy. All right, now Blackie, you're gonna show us what to do on the other side of the tree, right? Right, what we're gonna talk about is on this end, not using a trucker's knot, but we're gonna use a single toggle on here. Now this can be a toggle that I pick a stick up on the ground and hook. This one is just threaded on. Now around here and swap, swap positions with me. All right, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come around the tree. I'm gonna come to where I want this tension to be. I'm gonna wrap it one time around it, just like that. Now I'm going to take this line and go around it and I'm going to pull it tight and then wrap over and back under. Pulling it as tight as I want, that holds it and then all I gotta do is just half hitch behind it. That's it. Take it off, all you do is pull, boink, and it falls right off. Quick release, like it. Quick re release, can't be easier. All right, Mike Simmons with Homemade Actual. Show us what you've got in your pockets. <laughs> all right, fellas, this this is my deluxe ridge line set up with Prusiks and carabiners and everything. And it's... Ooh, that's pretty. Look at all that look stuff. At, it's like Christmassy colors, you know. I got it set up with a figure eight. And a, and a toggle on the tag line left over. You can do a bowl in there too, but it just gives me an extra stake in my pack and I'll show you how it works for me. So pull it out like this. The thing about having a stake on the end of it is it gives me a weight to swing around the tree so that I can catch it like this. Pull tight and then just put the running line through the loop and the stake through there and then just cinch it down. Done. And then you have a quick release. Yeah, I got a quick release. As well. It works good too if I'm gonna set up to do a ground shelter because I've got a stake on the end of my line I can run through the fork of a tree. If I'm gonna set up a really low stealth shelter or something like that and stake this in the ground. So it gives me options with the same ridge line. I just stick with the old trucker's hitch. Make a loop. Pull it through like that, always toward where you're gonna anchor to. But I add a little caveat to that to keep from damaging my line every time I go through there. And so keep your cordage all hanked up. You don't have to let anything loose. And then you go around one time, go around twice, and you can pull. And you can pinch it off like this and just do your half hitch on there, locking it down. And then the half hitch loop, put the hank of cordage through there and just snug that up so that it keeps it up off the ground. Nice cord management there. All right, Sir John, what have you got in your pockets? Well, I just got a, just a plain old piece of paracord because uh, I, I am a minimalist. I believe in, you know, you got all these toggles and all these little little squiggly wire thingies and all this to, and just to keep from learning to tie a knot. <laughs> so I mean, what I'm gonna do 
because I'm just going to go around twice. I mean, go around and go around my fingers twice, and pull through, and back over. And this makes the world famous Ray Mears knot that I am proud of. It took me no telling how long to learn how to tie this thing. But there it is. And no uh, gadgets. No gadgets. And it's just a plain old piece of paracord. And it's also a quick release as, as well, right? Right. Let's there show it how it releases. You just give it a pull and away it goes. Bam. You're off the tree. No gadgets, no toggles, no hardware, just plain old simple fashioned knots. There you go. Okay, Mr. Pinker, show us how you attach to the other tree. Okay, uh, I like to do it this way. Uh, you just make a blight and roll my finger about six times. Okay. Okay. Then take the working in working in daisy chain it through one time. Okay. Okay, here we go around the tree. And we're going to shove all this mess through that uh, last loop we made. And we're going to pull it tight, I hope. There we go. There we go. All right. This tightens up real tight and you get the uh, mechanical advantage in two places, up here and back here. So you can really put the tight on something. I like that. So that's your change of direction. You're creating mechanical advantage. Right. And now, you, how are you going to tie it off? I'm just going to uh, just make a half hitch in it. And there it is. Poof. He's done. Okay. And the fun part about this, to get it off, once you get that locking half hitch out, it takes a little fumbling, but once you get that, uh, that locking half hitch out of there, all you have to do is give it a yank and the whole knot falls out. Done. All right, and I just carry a hank of paracord. This is 25 feet in my pocket, and you'll notice here that I've got it tied in a square knot, and on one end, I've got a bowline all I'm gonna do, I like options like the other guys were talking about. I'm just gonna undo this square knot right here. And if you look at the end with the bowline, it'll pull right out of this hank of paracord. I can go around the tree and I can run my hank through the bowline and attach to the tree like that. I also, have the option of going back through this. And what I can do is I can take the bowline, I can run the line through it, and I can run anything through it. There's a Sharpie, and there's a toggle up against the tree. And if I want a quick release, I just pull it, and it's done. Simple as it gets. Well, since Mike used the trucker hitch, I'm gonna show y'all something else. I'm gonna do a alpine butterfly. So you just take the rope, you twist once, and you twist twice. And you'll notice I have a figure eight going here. Then I'm gonna pull it down and back through the loop. Like that. Now I have an alpine butterfly. I'm gonna go around the tree I'm gonna go through the loop once and twice. And then I'm gonna pull it and lock it in. There's your soft lock. And if you wanted to, you could come in here and you could do a hard lock with a half hitch. It's locked in. Now you may be watching this and maybe you've watched too many YouTube shorts or too many TikToks and you've just forgotten all the knots. You have no cord management and you have no knot experience. You can't do it. I'm gonna show you a really easy way to do it. Check this out.
So you go around a tree one time, two times, three times, four times, and five times. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna come up and over and through. You got one half hitch. You're gonna do it one more time where you come back behind, back down through two half hitches and that is not coming loose and you'll notice this isn't even tight you don't even need this it stays tight because of the friction on the loops that's what's known as a tensionless anchor so if you can't tie any knots you can at least wrap around a tree five times all right, and I'm gonna show you one more trick. I'm gonna show you how I manage my cordage. So I take the end that has my bowline on it. I stick it through my index finger. Now I'm gonna wrap around my thumb, my pinky, my thumb, my pinky. And after you do this for a little while, you'll get really fast at it. Don't try to go too fast at first or you'll get all over the place. And what I do is I wait until I have about six feet and I take it, I wrap it over my thumb, I pinch it right here. <laughs> I pinch it, then I take this, wrap it over that original strand once then I come around to the other side. Now I'm just gonna wrap all the way down to the other end. Going to the other side. Just like that. And then all I do is I take these two and I'm gonna go right over left And then I'm gonna go left over right and boom. Now you got a nice neat hank of paracord. Goes in your pocket and you're gone. All right guys, so you've seen a few tricks. Now get in the comment section and let us know what is your favorite way of attaching to the tree? What is your favorite way of changing direction? What's your favorite way of tying off? And what's your favorite way of cord management? Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and until next time, fuel the fires. Become a Survival Dispatch Insider. We bring together survival enthusiasts and preppers to share knowledge and skills, which means you can enhance your preparedness for emergencies and ensure the safety of your community. The results you'll get improve your emergency preparedness by learning skills and strategies from experienced preppers. Build lasting connections with like-minded individuals to share your passion for safety and readiness. Access a wealth of knowledge and resources to assist you in protecting you and your community in certain situations. Go to survivaldispatch.com to get started.